Go ahead and try hit me if you're able. Can't you see that my relationship is stable? I can see you hit the way we intermingle. But I think you're just mad cause you're single. What's up guys, this is Do You Wanna Be The Universe, and to try not to make this one of those long opening things, I'm just gonna try to, uh, speed past, like, the things I need to bring up before I get started with the direction. First off, hi, I'm back, uh, after a week, uh, of, after a week or so of being gone, I'm back because I had to go to my, uh, see my grandfather, and... He was basically, you know, he was about to pass away. I made a video about this, and I made it private instead of deleting it, like I said in the video. Because making it a pri I took a suggestion from the comments saying making it private would be better, because then I don't lose all the comments that had you guys tell me to take my time and, and to all your condolences, you could say. And I really appreciate them. And it was a good idea. I made it private, so just not make it that much of a big of a deal, because. People die. That's how that's how it would go. And that was in my mindset when I saw when I saw I had to have, see him go. But of course, emotions don't work like that, especially if you grew up with the dude. So yeah, that's how that worked. And I'm fine now. Things are gonna be great. I want to get started with the new MLP. There's three episodes out now. The newest episode came out on uh, April 2nd or April 1st, either either or. And and it's kind of it's kind of really weird because this is like the second April Fool's year that I wanted to do something, but due to certain circumstances of family matters, I couldn't do something. I really want to get you guys with a particular thing I wanted to do, but I couldn't, which sucks. But next year, next year I'm gonna do it. Just so look out for it, all right? But that's just it. So I also want to thank you for getting me back up to 7,000 subscribers and so on and so forth. Because the last channel, we're getting closer to my old channel's old subscriber count and uh, and stuff. And also uh, the new uh, uh, determination uh, re uh, to video is out for the Undertale thing that people seem pretty mixed bagged on with a whole now it's going to be like a still image for fan made content because I respect the fan made content like you know deal and if the creator of the actual stuff says it's all right especially if they love how I'm doing the format I'm going to listen to them and not you know people who don't really understand the concept of stealing and whatnot so with that being said it's only been two minutes or so so I don't need to really put the Put much of an annotation. So let's get started with the new MLP uh, episode. And due to the promo and what I literally expected, we're gonna have a box full of chinchillas pretty much destroy the entire universe and have them stop it somehow. So yeah. Yeah, I gotta say, it is good to be back, and I know if one thing is gonna cheer me up, it's it's gonna be the My Little Pony, and I'm gonna get past all three episodes and upload them on the same day, so look out for that. Three, two, one, now. Ooh, man, and I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to do the same kind of format or a different format for my reaction videos like this, because again, okay. eh. Library, library. Someone's lost. Put the library. <laughs> oh, it's good to see that Starlight Glimmer is actually having a role. Thank yeah. you, Hasbro, for actually living up to this. smaller from the outside. Tell me about it. It's bigger on the inside. Morning, Starlight. What? Yeah. Sorry, Spike. I guess I'm still trying to find my way around. You don't happen to know where the library is, do you? Next door on the left. <laughs> it's uh, funny because he's always thanks. naked. <laughs> Acceptance. Mm -hmm. Altruism? Definitely. Starlight, good morning. Come in. Sorry I'm late. I got a little turned around. Mm. I still can't believe you're letting me stay here. Yeah, neither are us. Mm. After everything I did. Hey, it's fine. It's like an Naruto effect. To dwell on the Kill your favorite? You. <laughs> You're good. The castle is your home now. And as far as being my pupil goes, I was just trying to figure out what your first friendship lesson should be. Friendship is magic after all. Looks like you're really narrowing it down. Oh, these are just the A's. After this, I move on to the B's. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. Again. You can do this, Starlight. I believe in you. I, I believe... Ooh. Let's see if they change the intro. I want to see if they change, the, you know, you know, this, uh, some particular three group. That'd be great. And uh, of course, I'm still, you know, silencing the intro. You got, you know, copyright like that. So, from all, uh, this isn't as bad of a wait as it was from my, uh, from the last. There it is. Okay, they did. Awesome. Uh, it wasn't that big of a change, but it's good that they did it. But, okay, after the wait, it wasn't really that long to me. I don't know if it was the same amount of time, but I, I, this this new season yeah, came relatively quick. Friendship, but I didn't think there were this many lessons for anything. Oh. How do we mm. choose? 
Maybe I should pare things down a bit before we go through them. Why don't you join the others in the throne room? They're planning our trip to the Crystal Empire when Shining Armor and Princess Cadence have their baby. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, Where's the throne where is the room? The throne room? <sighs> this way, that way, and this way, and then turn around. I don't want to miss the crystal. But, um, shouldn't we wait for the invitation? Frankly, I'm not exactly clear on all the customs and traditions of the Crystal Empire, mm. especially when it comes to a crystalline. What's a, a crystalline? Well, that's just it, darling. Princess Cadence and Shining Armor's baby is due any day, and we're still not sure. The Crystal Empire was gone for a thousand years. A lot of their customs are a bit murky. For me, a thousand well, years is like a day to me baby. now. And the, and the crystal heart. And the and yes. Someone else say party so she can stop saying it herself. It's not hard to understand. Because she thinks she's not pitching Those in. Things in the Crystal Empire aren't. Like how I'm a big hero there, for example. Oh yeah, that. <laughs> oh my god, we're pretty seriously. Uh, plus, I've had to help Twilight do a lot of research on crystallings. Whenever a baby is oh, born right. in the Crystal Empire, the parents bring it before the Crystal Heart. I like how they look almost exactly like okay. Find, then pick a crystaller to present the baby to every pony who comes. Then is the circle alive. Feeding it into the crystal that joins with the heart and increases its power. Huh. And this is wow. going to be a royal crystalling, so pretty much the whole empire will show up. Okay. That hasn't happened in a millennia. What oh, do you wow. mean it increases the Crystal Heart's power? The energy it uses to protect the Crystal Empire. If it didn't happen in a millennia. Protect it from what? Uh, never mind. I didn't help Twilight with that part. I can get into topics I don't believe that I fully understand. Hey, Twilight. I refuse to. Say something about the Crystal Empire? Huh. Funny you should mention it. Because I just narrowed your first friendship lesson down to three options. And one of them is in the Crystal Empire. Really? That's great. Convenient that's too. Where the first pony you ever cared about lives. <laughs> of course. <laughs> we could also go to Griffin's Dome. Anxiety, anxiety. Oh man, she really is. Oh man. Something wrong? What? Oh no, those all sound great. I know! I guess you were right. It is gonna be hard to choose one! How come no pony has ever realized yeah. the fake smile? It's like... Ugh. <laughs> nice. Ugh. All these doors look the same. My way around this place. Gee, Starlight, what's wrong? I'm not doors, I'm just saying. Twilight's figuring out what my first friendship lesson is, and I guess I'm not exactly thrilled with the options. Well, Who would? Uh, him besides me. Which one? Reuniting me with my first friend. What's so terrible about that? Because he was stopped being your friend? That was a sentence that I made. When we were foals, Sunburst knew everything there was to know about magic. See, reading is power. He always knew just what to do. And he was always there to help me. I guess it's not surprising that Sunburst got his cutie mark in magic and went off to Princess Celestia's school. But when he left... You blamed cutie marks and stripped a whole village of theirs, and when Twilight and the others stopped you, you went back in time and almost destroyed Equestria. Yes, we were there for that. Not really stuff I'm super eager to tell Sunburst about. I mean, he's probably some big, important wizard now, and... That or a pathetic piece of waste. Castle. Well, if Sunburst is that good at magic, maybe he'd appreciate your, uh, <clears throat> exploits. Yeah. What? You should talk to Twilight about it. I'm sure she'd want to hear what you have to say. It's cold in this room. No, but I don't want her to think I'm not ready to learn, or that I'm not grateful for everything she's doing. Spike, come quick! Here we go.
Color of the wind. It's a crystalline invitation. Shining armor of the father. I'm an aunt. Nice. Well, Why does that seem so appropriate? Going to the Crystal Empire, your first friendship lesson is going to be reuniting with Sunburst. Yeah. Go see that supernova. Yeah, I, I believe in her. So come on, <laughs> it's not like she's gonna freak out and become a villain again. I'm saying that ironically, not literally, or was it sarcastically? Either or, y you know, I'm not being serious about that. I believe in her. What is that? Oh, something apple related. sweet apple acres, apple trees. Yeah. I thought it was something to apple related. Apples. Not apple specifically. Related to Twilight is practically family. Yeah, it's okay. But it's no Cloud's Day on mobile. Bam! Oh man. Ooh. Look, that looks dangerous, actually. Oh yeah, very. Well, a mobile is real nice. As long as you have something to lay in so you can look at it. And a fetching blanket to keep you warm. That did not even sure match. I'm sure Princess Cadence will love all our gifts. But I think they're more happy we'll be attending the baby's crystalline. Yeah. I can't wait to see all that light glow make the crystal heart even more sparkly and shiny! That's Actually, nice. Actually, Pinky, the crystal heart is an ancient and powerful relic. Without its magic, the crystal empire would be lost to the frozen north. Wow. I'm happy you have to remind us of this. Sounds pretty important. For exhibition's sake for her, I guess. I wanted to, you know, wait to do a different friendship lesson when we get back. Are you kidding? This trip is perfect! Not only do I get to see the baby and take part in the ceremony that helps maintain the magic of the Crystal Empire, but I'm starting my new pupil off with the most amazing friendship lesson ever! I can't wait! That's great. Right. Me neither. The best presents for your niece is your presence. Actually, Twilight, AKA you be just being there. At least that was my present. I know what it's like to see old friends, but I'll be right there to help things along. I've broken the whole lesson down into a few easy steps to ensure this reunion goes off without a hitch. I know what you're thinking, but yes, this is actually a few easy steps. That 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 look note would have already been back at the Ponyville by now if it was actually not short. Step one, head to Sunburst's house and get you two started on the right hoof. Step two, get to the castle with enough time to visit the base. <gasps> Shining armor! He looks great. Twilight. <laughs> I didn't know you were meeting us. Of course I am. <laughs> oh, jeez. me, right here. Here I am. Why wouldn't I come meet my sister? Though we haven't met before. <laughs> Are you all right? Oh, no. Never better. Being a father is amazing and wonderful and amazing and confusing and amazing, but surprising, too, you know? Mm. I mean, not that you'd know. You wouldn't know, I know. You know? Wow, shining and... Shining is Sorry, having a Twilight I really season since Kane's had the baby. two. No, the season. Bit. She hasn't either. It's the moment where she got crazy. Oh, of course. I don't know what I was thinking. You two probably need all kinds of help. I'm sorry, Starlight, but I guess combined. Lesson zero, Twilight versus. It wasn't such a good idea. This shining oh, armor. Uh, don't be ridiculous. Yeah. You're an ant now. That's way more important than some <laughs> friendship lesson. I'm sorry, ant and aunt. Just I'm just like she's both. an ant. <laughs> Maybe. Someone better is. show Twilight as an ant now. You've done the work for Starlight's lesson with this list. All we have to do is follow it. <laughs> Spike, you're a genius. Yeah. Genius. Hey, then he's pulling a Luffy. Shining Armor and I will head straight to the castle, and you two can head straight to Sunbursts. Aye, aye, princess. Uh -huh. All right, big brother. Let's go see this amazing baby pony. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I just realized, again, people might be watching this blindly with me, so... Covered. Yeah, I'm gonna do my censoring again. How I'd rather do absolutely anything else. Well, I bet she's taking that into account too. It's all part of the lesson. Trust the lesson. Right. Yeah, she seems like the type to do that. Hey, is that you? Oh, oh man, yep. here she go. It sure is. Now, according to the list, Sunburst's house is. Why is there a statue of you in the Crystal Empire? Because Spike the. Raven, <laughs> and then again during the Equestrian Games. Really? 
really big fan. Mm. Um, when were you gonna tell me about this? Nah, it's no big deal. Yeah, yeah, being a hero of an entire country, yeah, that, that's no big deal. We're not going anywhere until I get the whole story. Wow. Okay. Before we go in, Dark Kingdom. I should probably tell you, seeing the baby might be a bit of a shock. Oh come on, what could be so bad? I've met babies before. I expect meeting this one won't be any different. Yeah, no different whatsoever. Look how cute she is. Oh, it's a little pony with wings. W what are those called again? I forgot. But hey, of course, that's weird. We could be wrong. All right, cool. I mean, shocked expression. I'm sorry, I, I watched the sneak peek. But again, censoring the last part that I said. It looks that way. But, but, but I thought alicorn wings had to be earned by accomplishing some great princess worthy deed. Oh, come on, are you making the rules up at that go? <laughs> the birth of an alicorn is something Equestria has never seen. Of course. It is beyond even our understanding. Right. That's the smartest the two true. smartest beings can't understand it. So she could be a super strong flyer and have crazy baby magic! Like Twilight. I know all about super strong flying. And I can help keep tabs on her magic. BB magic. <laughs> and a planet blew up somewhere. Well, who cares? It appears I, 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 I her coming. magic is more powerful than that of a newborn unicorn. It's called unstable started to gather. It's gonna be some party. I love how her breath is actually Do helium. You think we should call it off? Um, we've all faced a lot worse than baby magic. No, but no, you have not. T-Rex is one thing, but an unstable alicorn so baby is something. Adorable. Yeah, of course. Cute as it's cute In can light be. Of the little one's abilities, this crystalline might be more important than ever. Perhaps you should address your subjects and remind them of that. Hmm. Yes. Beep, beep, yeah. Oh man, just up there. Ooh. It might be like poof when it when she cries. Shining armor. Ugh. Do you have everything you need for the ceremony? Huh? Wasn't when it cried? Oh, when it burped, did it lightning happen? Choose the purity crystal and make a crystal. -er. All right, take it easy. Pinky can stay here with me and keep an eye on the baby. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! And we'll all help you with everything else. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna be a great they father. Long enough to tell us how. Great father. <laughs> That's how we found the Crystal Heart, defeated King Sombra, and saved the Empire. Yay! 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 Tell the one about the Equestria Games. Wow, it took him that long. Well, it, it wasn't that long to like a bridge. And I have an important lesson to the do. season opener to season three. Of friendship. Aww. Aww, come on, Spike. I want to hear about the games too. But and that's only one episode. Sunday. But it says right in step three to uh deal with your fears by facing them, not by putting it off. Yeah, that's kind of how that works. There's a there's a mosquito in here. Oh wow, look at that house. Doesn't seem egotistical whatsoever, especially when he does. What? Knocking on the door isn't the next thing on the list. What? Seriously? I know Twilight can be a little nitpicky, but this is your first lesson as her pupil, and it's important that we do it right. Right. Fine. What's the next thing on the list? <clears throat> Before they see each other, make sure to highlight the importance of the meeting. I'm pretty ah. sure we can skip that. Oh, come on. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta at and least, if we skip it, you know. The whole lesson could go south, and then you might end up taking a giant step backwards instead of forwards. Maybe you'll never be able to learn anything about friendship at all. Maybe you might lose your cutie mark. It's almost like your whole future depends on this moment. Nice going, Spike. The importance of the meeting. Check. I can't believe you wanted to skip that. Oh, wow. That's, like, so real. I like how real that moment was. <laughs> I like how real this is. Oh. Sunburst? Yes. What can I do for you? It's... it's me, Starlight. We used to be friends? Uh, of course! S Starlight! <laughs> My goodness, it's been a long time. What, uh, what have you been up to? Me? 
Oh, it's like the old know, cliche thing to say when you don't actually remember some somebody. Of that, different stuff. Right now, I'm sort of Twilight Sparkle's new pupil. The princess of friendship? <laughs> yeah. The has got a name for herself. Of course she does. That's kind of why I'm here. <laughs> I mean, I know you're probably very busy. What do you mean? Well, I figured after magic school, you'd go on to do important wizard work, but... Oh, no. Y yes! Uh, uh, yes, that's me. Yep. <laughs> Important wizard. Really busy with lots of, uh, wi wizarding stuff. You seem like the klutzy type. Right. Interesting. Uh, well, good to see you. Good on the highlights. Hmm. Maybe we should have skipped highlighting the importance of the meeting after all. See? Well, I guess that's that. Starlight, come on. We have to at least explain what Twilight wants. I don't like to look at that one guy in the background. He just seemed like he had a face of, I don't want to be here. Dearest citizens, I am sure you are all just as thrilled and ready for this crystalling as myself and Shining Armor. I'm not ready. Dude, you're the captain of the Royal Guard. Be a man. The most like honor guard material. Pink. Right. Right. Pinky red. Good job. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fatherhood is way more stressful than I ever thought. I can only imagine. Mm. Now, I know choosing the Crystal of Purity is a very important decision. So, I have gone through the trouble of arranging them in order from incredibly pure to outrageously pure. From left to right or right to left? Purity, don't they all sort of look the same? Oh, well, to the untrained eye, perhaps. What do you think, Shining Armor? Are you joking right now? Do you not understand his situation? Or how he's been acting. Twilight and Pinky are having better luck with the baby. Ew. Well, at least she's having fun. <laughs> 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 Countering blow for blow. <laughs> she couldn't even hold pound cake still. You really think she can hold an alicorn baby? So, or should I say, a box full of chinchillas? Friendship wants <laughs> you and I to be friends again. <laughs> I know, weird, right? Oh, I don't understand. Did something happen to you after I left for magic school? What? No, I don't see what that has to do with anything. Okay. No. Why would you even ask? I didn't that? form a cult. I didn't. I didn't try to destroy a crusher by changing the future. Did something happen to you after you left for magic school? Yeah. What? Uh, no. Like you said, I'm a uh, important wizard. I see you're trying to work on your star sword sure bearded beard. List that can help you're here? failing with it, but you're trying. I see it, though. <sighs> ah, there's okay. that hair. I chose the honor guard, picked the purity crystal, and I know exactly who I want to be our crystaler. So... All we need is the baby. The baby. Come on, man! You almost had it. She's a really strong flyer. That looked weirder than it would should have been. Oh, here we go. Classic baby logic being pulled away from someone that's fun. Someone call Andy Asher. We got another 2,000 seasons to go through. <laughs> it's worse than that. Without the heart, the Crystal Empire is about to be buried under a mountain of ice and snow. <laughs> oh, it's like Sombra all over again, except without the weird face. But you're still cute. You're still cute, you know it. Ah, who is my little apocalyptic starter? <laughs> oh. Okay. Woo! Anyway. That was a good first episode. Um, you know, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll also get started on the next episode right now, because, you know, two-parter, two-parter is, is good to, to keep a two-parter in the same thing. If I can hurry up and, you know, find the actual episode before I go crazy or something like that. No, I have it right here. There we go.
So, yeah, all right. So this is it for uh, Craig. Quick mini review of the first episode. Really good. I, I love I loved the, uh, the Shining Armor freak out moment because uh, that's technically how uh, my uh, sister's husband kind of was when uh, uh, both Giselle and Shelby were coming. So, yeah, this is not unnatural for Shining to be panicking over the fact that this is like a big thing. Exit all couples go through that horrible, horrible anxiety attack of something big going on. Like, even at a funeral for, uh, for my grandfather, everyone was freaking out, trying to make every, make sure everything was on point with, with stuff. And then we got flooded in because it rained so hard, it was like we were in a bowl and someone just poured all the milk, or water, I should say, into it, and we just had to swim our way through with our boat cars and all that. So yeah, it, it, this is not unnatural. As for the whole alicorn baby thing, hmm. Kind of saw this coming. Didn't expect her to actually shatter the crystal heart. But it didn't, it, then we wouldn't have much of a conflict, now would we? So, yeah. Anyway, it, it, in all seasons opener counts, this is one of the, like, semi-tame, semi-oh my god, everyone's going to die. From one thing, at the very end, that's where the things start hitting the fan. Uh, that, 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 mm, three, two, one, now. But, uh, yeah, it's just... She cries, and then Armageddon. There we go. <laughs> I still can't Previously on My Little Pony. <laughs> as your pupil. Shining Armor's a father. I'm an aunt. Your first friendship lesson is going to be reunited. Mildred, stars. which is my ex and my grandmother's name. That's me, yep. <laughs> Important wizard. The baby is an alicorn? So she could be a super strong flyer and have crazy baby magic. And destroy the crystal heart. With By the way, that that just happened. The Crystal Empire is about to be buried under a mountain of ice and snow. I like that. I like that stock sound effect. <gasps> Next is the Wilhelm scream that we all love, know and love. But yeah. Also, by the way, I forgot to mention. Uh, during my bus ride, have I told you guys it took me five hours to get back to my house? Walking all the way down here. What you don't believe me? Check this out. I'm doing this because I believe if I don't, no one will believe me. I am currently lost in downtown Austin because the Uber driver is stupid and I hate Ubers now, for now on, forever because the system sucks. Um, and also because thanks to humanity and why Chara, I think I believe why Chara wants the story of then humanity kind of sucks. I'm not having any like physical help to try to get me back. So I'm taking a five-hour walk back back to my apartment. And next time you see me, I'm going to be at my apartment because. I don't know what's gonna happen on this journey, but you know, who, who cares, right? I'm just a person walking down in the middle of nowhere, no phone service, no nothing. I, I can't really do anything. There's no family here to help me. So I, I, let me just do this. Okay, you can't see me or anything else around me, apparently, maybe. Uh, I've reached, I think, the halfway point of my first check mark, checkpoint of where I'm supposed to turn on Lamar Street. I have no idea where I'm going. Update number three. I, I'm currently in some sort of neighborhood. I reached the truck station or car station. It's not a gas station. I know that much. But I'm currently, I think I reached the where I was supposed to turn left on Lamar. But there's North Lamar and regular Lamar. So does that mean I need to take a north direction in the right section i i'm back on guadalupe street i'm home now yay how's that did that seem great to you because yeah i got lost for a long time and let's just say after the death of my my grand my grandfather i just had to go through some more heartache aka going five hours in the dark in downtown austin to get back here it was a great time not only can we not take part in the fabulous ancient ceremony but we're also about to be frozen solid! Without the Crystal Heart's magical protection, the entire city's about to become a winter wasteland. But what about when King Zomber ruled the Crystal Empire and the Walk Crystal Walking in a Crystal Wasteland. The covered in snow then. The heart wasn't missing. It was still in the castle. King Zomra had just hidden it. Yep. I'm afraid Twilight is correct. And the storm clouds are already forming. Yeah, I'm sure everyone will be fine. Totally fly up there and bust those puppies. Yeah, go for it. I wouldn't advise it, Rainbow Dash. Those storm clouds are not like the ones you know. This far north, the weather has a will of its own. Mm. Now it will only oh. grow stronger. Oh no! Everything in its path. 
It's not like it's actually Earth. <laughs> Okay, you got this. Sunburst. Princess Starlight, Twilight do something about it. Two of us rekindling our friendship, but it's been so long. I don't see how anything on that list is going to help. I know, right? It's not like there's some spell that would magically compel us to pick up where we left off. Well, You'd be surprised. Mist Mane's material amity, Rock Hoof's rapport, Flash Prance's fellowship. <clears throat> but I, I get the feeling the princess isn't looking for a spell. Yes, friendship is magic, not magic to become friendship. And if all else fails, ask them to share an embarrassing moment from their past. Maybe even something they regret. I regret you leaving me. I don't see how that would help. Uh, yeah, mm. we should just get out of your main. It's pretty obvious this isn't going how Twilight hoped, and I'm sure you have plenty of important work to do. What? No, oh, uh, right, yes. <laughs> Uh, no rest for the wizardly. Come on, Ain't no rest for the wizard. Okay. I tried to make a, you know. There must be a spell that can restore the crystal heart. Perhaps. But it isn't something that either of us know. Of course! The library here at the castle is nearly as extensive as the one in Canterlot. There's a good chance we can find something there. Yes, we'll we find a store. book to ha help yes, repair the thing that's never supposed to be broken. magic will eventually succumb to the power of the frozen north. We will do what we can, but you must hurry. Why does it, every time, every new season I see you two, it's like you're more nerfed than before. I like, uh, mm. But I do like seeing y'all do stuff. It's just, you know, it's just it, the magic's over for me. I don't know how long it will take to find the right spot. They're throwing out alicorns like Renegon at the end of Naruto. Get somewhere warm, and try not to mention the Crystal Heart. We don't want to start a panic. Yes, ma'am. Come on, girls. I yes, no panic. Help. The Crystal Library is enormous. You can count on us, Twily. <laughs> yeah. <we're... laughs> To go. Okay, she was perfectly fine with her literally digging into her eyeballs in one scene, and all of a sudden she can't take the fact that she clinged onto her face a second. Pinkie Pie. Wouldn't be surprised. Inconsistency. Decides to give up on me entirely. It's not your fault. I'm the one who said all we needed was this list. Oh, it's well, now... <laughs> or you, or Twilight. I'm the one Sunburst doesn't want to be friends with. <clears throat> been hilarious. I him saying he didn't want to be friends. He just he doesn't really know it. you. Well, Twilight obviously thinks you're worth being friends with, and I do too. Oh, thanks, Spike. At least I have two friends, even if one of them has dragon breath. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's a very uh, good uh, Pokemon move. Dragon breath. It's freezing! Oh, you're right. But I thought the Crystal Heart was supposed to keep the cold weather out. It is. Unless something's happened. Come on! Yeah. But it would've been hilarious, you know, yeah. Princess Celestia and they're taking out the, the, the clouds and all of a sudden the note hits her in the face. I camped out all hilarious. night for this spot. I'm not about to just give it up. She's as stubborn yeah, as a mule. If you think about it, Cheater mark reference. Just as good a little further back, like inside your house. Inside my house. The ceremony is one of our most sacred traditions. And nice. when that bowl is held before the crystal heart, I plan to be as close to the action as possible. Okay. Honestly, I don't know if there's gonna be a crystalline. Or a is, tomorrow. Baby's an alicorn, and her magic's plum crazy, so you might not want to be that close after all. And you're a about to die. Alicorn? Wow, I can't wait to see that. Oh, those little wings are probably so cute. Little? No, right? Look, I am 100% sure the crystalline isn't happening. Well. No crystalling, huh? Then why are they starting a fireworks show? And destroying the castle in the process! Everyone knows that's how the crystalling works! Young Billy? <laughs> Come back here! Come to me! Ride a box boat chance! Hey hubs and tournaments! Mystic maps and mazes! Uh, anything up there? Not yet! I'm not even sure how these are organized! Yeah. Yeah. 
Shining armor? I thought you were taking care of the baby. Oh. Stop trying! Yeah, sure. He's good, though. Actually, Teleport Nugget is nothing. You almost had her, though. You know, a butterfly net. I would call that a reference, but it's not. So, let's just say it's a butterfly net. Poof. Butterfly. Net. Weakness. Whatever. To me, it's a reference. Because I connected the two. In short? Famous now, Corn and she accidentally destroyed the Crystal Heart, so Twilight and Cadence are looking for a spell to put it back together and save the Crystal Empire from turning into a giant wasteland of ice and snow. Oh. Pinkie Pie. Always the best with recaps. I have to say, this is one thing that stayed consistent to the series, is that she's good at recapping what about things. This? Trotter's Tome of Reliquary? I think this is it. You... The spell of Relic Reconstitution. Right. I can't believe we found it. It's a good thing, too. Without this, I don't know what we'd do. Just always look for the book that looks way different than any other book that you get. That's exactly what has happened throughout the entire series. I should have said this before, but I thought it would be- I was about to say, you wouldn't it be funny they find a book and then the baby destroys it? I literally was gonna say that! that was even close to what we needed! Ah. I'm so sorry, Twilight! Someone needs a photographic memory. Starlight. None of us were expecting any of this. Do you think you can remember the spell? Never mind. I only read it through once! Well, Photographic memory! exactly remember something she read for the first time two minutes ago, it's you, Twilight! Thank you! I'll try, but I'm not sure how long it'll take. Is quickly an option? I'll help Probably. if I can. But we should evacuate the city just in case. You need to lead every pony to the train station before the tracks freeze over. We will. But between you and Twilight, I'm sure you'll remember the spell. Okay, question. Baby ru almost destroys an entire kingdom. Is the baby held accountable? Is there anything I can do? I don't think so. Same. Equal so rights and whatnot. <clears throat> oh, that doesn't matter now. Starburst <coughs> and I don't have anything in common anyway. He's a big, important wizard. And I'm relearning everything I ever thought I knew. Sunburst? No, I there is something in common. Name, you you both are if horrible he's liars. If wizard, you should bring him here. Maybe he'll know what to do if the spell fails. <gasps> of course! You better go with her, Spike. She seems to trust you the most out of the entire group right now. Princesses of magic. Well, princesses of sun and moon. Losing against self-controlled clouds. Snow? That's not right. The crystal heart. is gone! The baby, Shining Armor and Cadence's baby, it's an alicorn! Really? Really? And her magic is a little berserk, and well, I guess she destroyed the heart. But Twilight thinks she can fix it, and Princess Cadence thought you could help. Me? Of course. Yeah. You're an important wizard in the Crystal Empire. It just makes sense. Right. 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 You know, I'd like to help. I, I really would. I, I just have so much um, important wizard work to do around here. Huh? Got more important wizard work than to be than to die. This was a royal crystalline. When the crystal holds the young one aloft, all of the empire will share their joy and light, and the crystal heart will beat stronger than it ever has before. Okay, all their kingdom should turn into idiocracy because they, they oblivious see because they clearly cannot see how. Come on! All right. Freezing out here. Can't you not notice? This is the crystal empire. We've seen snow before. Not like this! Thank you, Shining Armor, God! Princess Cadence has decided to evacuate the city. But the crystalline... I don't know if we'll ever have another crystalline again. Or our lives. The heart is shattered. It's not safe here. Oh, now you say this. That's what we've been trying to tell you. you. Sometimes, when I'm talking to my grandmother who has, like, a dementia, you have to be blunt with her with the whole I scenario. Know, Lizzie, but did you hear what I said? We're just sad. But, you know. I heard you, but, but like I said, when you're an important wizard, the work just piles up. Sunburst! <sighs> Look, Starlight, I want to help, I do. But I can't. I wish I could. What do you mean? Fixing an ancient relic? I, I can't even come close to doing something like that. But uh, I thought you were an important wizard. 
You were wrong, okay? I'm not an important wizard. I'm not even a wizard at all. I would be surprised if this, you know, was like more like a secretive thing, but no, he obviously put it off that he was not as important as he says he is. understand, but not all of us end up achieving greatness. What? Why wouldn't I understand that? Really? You're the protege of the Princess of Friendship. I don't think she picks just any pony for that. Well, you'd be surprised, actually. She's more of a student than a protege. Whatever. I'm sorry I'm not the big important wizard you were expecting. Sunburst? I don't care if you're a wizard or not. I'm just surprised. You always knew so much about magic. I mean, look at all these books. Yes, the books obviously yeah, well, tell that you are smart. one thing, but you don't know what it was like at magic school. To know so much and not be able to do any of it. Leviosa! Well, you don't know what it was like to be left behind. And then getting so bitter that you steal the cutie marks from an entire village. And then get defeated by Twilight and her friends. So you travel through time to get back at them. But they beat you again and teach you about friendship. But you're so terrified ponies will find out what you did that you can't make any friends! Let it all out. Did you really travel through time? That's that's the one she thing that came to his mind. Just like that's the one thing he Sorry says. Yeah. Lost touch. Maybe if I had reached out, you could have helped me at magic school, and I could have helped you to not become totally evil. <clears throat> <sighs> Let's just say I know what it's like to have something you're not exactly proud of. You showed up thinking I was some big wizard. I'm sorry. I should have told you the truth. It's fine. At least we worked it all out. <sighs> I think Twilight would be proud of us. Friendship. Well, if you ever want to tell her about it, we should probably leave now. Yeah, quickly. <gasps> I forgot to tell you. They're evacuating the city. You need to get to the train station. Unless you've got a spell here that will drive back the frozen north and fix the crystal heart so the baby can have a crystalline. I could probably blow up. That probably might work. Of course! See, all those books look a lot more important than any other book in the area. See what he's doing? Oh man. Push them back, my sister. Well, they're dead. They're just straight up dead. This is nope. <laughs> they can't nope. They're in they're inside the cold. No. <laughs> Yeah. Just a little bit further, y'all. The station's just ahead. Uh, da, 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 I don't know any you triumphant music. <laughs> See, they're fine. I, I knew it. <laughs> you remember, he was once my student, sort of. Not really. Yeah. Uh, I think that's everything. <laughs> It looks right to me, but... That's just the face of a person who's like, I knew this was gonna occur. And it's not gonna work. <clears throat> no. No. Yeah, you gotta let some burst there today, not you two. The spell failed. I don't know what else to do. An old student of mine believes he does. Say what me. Sunburst. Baby did this? I tried putting it back together with the spell of relic reconstitution. That won't do it. The crystal heart's been around for millennia. Restoring a relic like this is magic way beyond one spell. You know need to combine it with something else. Something like, unique to the relic itself. Something like, that strengthens it and provides it with power. Oh, the actual okay. Wrestling. Combining that spell with the light and love of every pony gathered for the ceremony, together with Somnambula's weather abjuration to clear away the snow, and a little fledgling's forbearance for the parents. <laughs> that should curb the little one's power fluctuations. Hmm. You must be Sunburst. Starlight said you were a powerful wizard. Oh, I'm no wizard. He's just very smart. But he studied magic his whole life. You should see his house. And since no pony has Again. any better ideas, <clears throat> what do we have to lose? He's just smart. It doesn't mean he's a power wizard. Twilight to be our crystaller, but since it seems like she'll be busy. 
the honor should go to you, old person with, like, a little screen time than any other person in the series. <laughs> I'm not dogging on them now that. He deserves it. Oh, come on, it's not, it's not been that long. Yeah, uh, I was like, the thing that was never meant to be broken, obviously just being fixed for one thing, was kind of like, eh? Couldn't just be found in a library somewhere, and it can't be just, like, remade. Citizens, so it is from Mark. Uh, this was in the promo, and they pretty much... Okay, they basically just show the ending. That's funny, how they do trailers. Hey, the crystal thing again. Mm. Best crystalline ever! Yeah, I love crystalline. That almost kills me. Oh, so great. For a pony who isn't great at magic, you did pretty well. Indeed. I'm glad to see you found a way to share your unique gift, Sunburst. You may be more of a wizard than you think. Wizard of Friendship. You would not believe the crazy weather that delayed our trip. Oh, parents. It came out of nowhere. But it was all worth it to see this peaceful little angel. Aw, oh, so sweet. Come to your grandmare. <laughs> yeah, peaceful now, anyway. I suppose that spell really did the trick. All right. <laughs> did it on purpose. <laughs> okay, her magic calmed down. We Just cause, I guess. To thank for that. Okay, cool. I hope he takes his role as Crystaller seriously. Oh yeah, all right. He tells me the baby will need a pony like him to look to for magical advice. Cadence. So we also have some verse as a rear character. Baby, character. Cool. Dear, are we going to spend the entire visit just calling her the baby? We were thinking Flurry Heart. Ah. You know, to remember the occasion. <laughs> Goodness, how could any pony forget? I think it's lovely. I swear, if I do not go to McDonald's well, and order a flurry heart, and they don't give me something that looks like that, I am going to be not. mad. Well, I don't know if I'll have time for any wizarding. I'm a crystaller now. That's a big responsibility. I can't think of any pony more qualified. Just promise you'll stay in touch? <laughs> like I'd ever lose touch with my oldest friend. Hmm. Rekindling old friendships is always the greatness. What's wrong, Twilight? I don't know, Spike. I think I have a lot to learn about being a teacher. Mm. What are you talking about? You just succeeded in one. Starlight and Sunburst got over their past and rekindled their By friendship. themselves, but yeah. No thanks to me. I know a lot <laughs> happened. I just wish I could have given my pupil the attention she deserves. Well, I know she needed to be put on the right path. If it was for you, she probably wouldn't have ever gone. Work pretty well. Isn't that how Celestia taught you? You know, Spike. I never thought about it. Become a good character. Is. Great Maybe character. You're a better teacher than you thought. Maybe you're a better wizard than you thought. Maybe you're a better baby than you thought. Maybe you're a better father, mother, granddaughter, grandfather. Everyone gets a motivational speech today. All right. Okay. Well, this was season opener to My Little Pony Friendship's Magic, and <clears throat> season opener of season six, the My Little Pony Friendship Magic, and to me. Probably in open uh, from uh, openers. This is probably my second or third favorite opener because you, you can't really top Discord's opener to me. You, you can't do that very much, not easily at least. 
And but yeah, I like this opener for for like the, the stuff that they did and the and the risks that they took uh, with certain occasions. It's like again, some of my comments for certain scenarios, I'm like I still didn't get much of an explanation for. They're like this has never happened before. Uh, a alicorn baby being born like this. I, I'm gonna stick to my guns until they actually explain it. They're making the rules up as they go along, like the whole pound cake and pumpkin cake scenario. My my grandmother was this, and grandfather, and this and that, and it was this. So that's how that works, right? Right? And I don't know. You came up with it. You need to explain it in better detail on how this is actually not a reoccurring thing, and this is actually something that's out of the norm. And this, they're being born in Alicorn, just did the unicorn genes and her... Uh, own alicorn genes just happen to make the baby like that just like oh, you know magic's weird in this universe and again flurry heart is a baby and as i said in my sneak peek but apparently people take too seriously or too metaphorically on a sense that you don't believe that writing can't be any good in this show that it already is are they going to have a scenario where the baby is like older in a certain area they don't have to do a time skip I, they don't need to do a time skip, but they already show time travel in a sense, so they could be in a time travel scenario where they go forward in time or back in time because they don't care about the whole multiverse theory or the actual alteration of time in a particular way of how it works because they have their own cop-out reasons for how certain things can stay in a certain particular time point variant, which I commend them for because it's very hard to do time travel without having someone say, well then, this doesn't really make much sense. But in the end, there are universes out there now that are clearly at war with other things, like in how the season finale, the season five actually occurred, and I will keep that in mind always. As for as for what I have to deal with, like how the whole time scenario deal with uh, Flurry Heart here, I just don't want to see her be a baby until the end of the series. Like, if it's the end of the series, and I don't get to see her at least be like a full or you know you know. Uh, like Cheetah Mark Crusader age or another age in general. I just want to see her talk. Like the uh, first word, we're obviously gonna have her first word somewhere in the, like the, the series. But I want her to like you know be something like that. They don't have to do a time skip. They can use time in a certain variant. They can even make it a what if scenario in a completely separate reality if they feel like it, or somewhere in the comics or something like that. I don't care. I just want to see something like that. So that's just my take on the whole Flurry Heart deal. Flurry Heart is adorable, like any other baby would be in any other series anywhere, actually, except for series that obviously show babies in a horrible, grotesque manner. But uh, for for this series, they did it uh, they did it right, and it wasn't as bad as I originally were think it was thinking. I mean, you know, rupture space and explode the sun. But uh, <laughs> uh, that, that's that's just. Uh, but they did tame it down. And make it like a scenario where it's like not entirely dire, but still dire. Uh, because when Sombra, because I'm, I'm basing this purely off of Sombra, because it has like a lot of the same similarities, only except one was destroyed and one was just hidden away somewhere. As for like Sombra, he was the giant cloud thing trying to get into the Crystal Empire. The only thing holding him back was Cadence's uh, shield thingy. And as soon as the shield went down, he was coming in and everyone was panicking and then... Uh, Spike got the crystal heart back, and they immediately did the crystal heart bowing down thing, and the crystal, the crystalline thing, whatever, uh, pushed them back and destroyed them. As for this one, it's like she destroyed it. The it was coming in, and it was the same kind of type of ceremonial deal, only with a different cause to it that still allowed the place to be saved. And the crystallization of the ponies happened again, so it's kind of like you know. There are certain similarities that I have to, like, go up, up, up upon. But, again, Oblivious Ponies are, are Oblivious Ponies. Like, mm, that was like, okay. But, okay, so this is marks the beginning of the new series. The the newest episode that came, that came out is out. I'm about to watch it, and I'm also going to post it up on the same day. So go ahead and watch that if it's already out. And I'm also going to get started on and any other things I can probably get over to. Right now, my I don't have a room, new roommate, so I do have my room to myself to at least a good week or so. So, yeah. Um. Anyway, so for for all of you who were still worried about me, how I did with my grandfather, I'm fine now. Yeah, everything seems to be. Because it, the one thing that my grandfather has always stated uh, for all the sense purposes, he lasted a lot longer than he even expected to. Like, ten years ago, he was telling me, 
I was. I hope I could see you off to college. I don't think I'm gonna make it throughout the rest of this year. I don't think I'm gonna do this. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I don't think. Even though he wasn't much of an optimist when it came to his own life, he was always one of the best people ever. Like my my grandmother is 88, and she has dementia and Alzheimer's put together. Like I don't know if you can have those things separately, but it's like. Certain things are still there, but she's a completely different person. She forgets a lot, a lot of things, and, you know, it was kind of a problem when, you know, trying to explain to her about the situation that her husband went through. And they've been, and they've been together for 60 years! 60 years! That's a long time, if you haven't noticed. But, uh, from, from that, from that, we, we, we're doing our best. And, Papa, Grandfather, he... He always in his right mind. He didn't get Alzheimer's. He didn't get dementia. He stayed in his right mind all the way through 93 years old. He knew who we were. I told him something two years ago that he remembered to the day that, to the day that I came to visit him for his last days. He was a smart man. I call that his army smarts, man. He 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 was intelligent. And my and my grandmother was a teacher, so it's just like. Wow, okay, one person and this person, it's just, how dementia and Alzheimer's work, you just cannot, uh, you, it just comes, but he didn't get those, and he was fine, and he was amazing, and, oh, man, I'm gonna miss the dude, I'm gonna miss the dude, so, all, all that being said, I already been through my hardships, I, I think I already, you know, posted out the, 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 the video, in with the new intro to the second thing, about how my journey was, walking five hours to my apartment, Five hours to my apartment. Sure. Uh, after a while, my parents were able to get in touch with me. Because, uh, see, here's the thing. My phone was off, so I couldn't call anyone. So I had to wait for someone to call me because I can only receive calls and not give them. Uh, my Uber that I called in as soon as I get off the bus didn't show up. So I was left out of options other than to walk all the way over to my, uh, all the way over to the apartments, which was going to take five hours. But parents got in touch, called an Uber, and it was, it was like five minutes away. So I walked a fair amount of distance from downtown Austin all the way to La Frontier Boulevard. Eh. So yeah, college, great life, wonderful life for me. So, all right. Anyway, this is Do You Want to Be the Universe. This has been a great season opener, and I'm going to get started on the other episodes and other reactions I need to get to, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.